Hello, everybody, and welcome to the eighth episode of the broadcast. I'm your host, Singo, with my co-host, Kata Kata Patata. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we kind of wearing the same outfit, sort of? You know what I mean? A uh, black shirt, blue light glasses, COVID English. hair. COVID hair. Except I'm wearing a hairband right now. Oh. I didn't so even. I didn't even just take. I don't. I don't see the hairband doing anything. Shouldn't it? Well, take it's that doing this. Pay- it makes you get, like all nice and stylish, sort of. Oh. Oh man! If I was were to use a hairband, my hair would be back here. Why? And my camera is all freezy. Yeah, I Ooh. know. I just noticed it. Last time you were. A bit blocky and a bit Minecrafty. I think it's because we just had too many people at the same time. For some reason, for some no, reason I we think just it's cannot of... handle three people at once. And I also think it's because of my old webcam because I use this software that uses the Wi-Fi to connect the webcam to the computer. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's gonna spike here and there. Oh, okay. It it's good enough, man. <laughs> it does the job. So, um, how oh, yeah. was your week? No, let's start. What happened this morning? Did you did this you watch morning. it? I'm guessing oh, you're so out I didn't, of the loop, or you like saw reactions online. I didn't. I didn't watch it. I just I watched an episode of Scares, and I was like, oh, they fought. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's how you found out? Yeah. Well, I didn't watch it either. I, was, I, I didn't I even was know it was today. I, did, I didn't even know if it, it was today, but I don't think I would have yeah. went out of my way to try to watch it anyways. Okay, for the very small minority of people who don't know what we're talking about, it is a Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather. Uh, it was a tie, but you know why it was a tie, right? It was a tie? Yeah, officially it's a tie. Oh, because there's no judges. Yeah. Yeah, which I thought was weird. I don't. Why is there no judges? I'm not sure why. What an exhibition match is. I just want to know who won the match, right? And yeah. since we didn't watch it, we can't tell. I've only saw like snippets and like Twitter moments or something like that. But I'm pretty sure Floyd won. Everyone's saying he won. Blah blah, and I'm pretty sure he did. I think so. Sure? I think if he did as well. But whoever else... Take a word. Hey, go on. No, you, you, you first, Mr. Jack. Oh, if there even, like, even if there were judges there, I mean, if there were judges, he would probably would have won. I, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think Logan ever had a chance. <laughs> Logan, from what I saw, he was doing pretty decent. You know, you saw, like, a bunch of hugging memes. I mean, he did that. I didn't even watch the fight. Okay. I didn't even watch the fight, but I just I just know Floyd won. So yeah, from what I've heard, uh, a few match rounds go off. Both people lasted eight rounds, so they went like the full distance. No one got knocked out, and hmm. uh, basically, people are saying Floyd was playing with him, but I don't really see how he was doing that. If he re- if he wanted to knock him out, why didn't he knock him out? That's what people were trying. To, that's what people were saying. They said that Floyd was going to knock out Logan, but it didn't happen. Do you, do you see? How- I I think it just has to do with his I don't know fighting style. What do you mean? I think Floyd May- Mayweather his fighting style isn't to go for knockouts; it's for to last as long as he can. You watch you Floyd. Know? I've watched like before. Like, I watch these random boxing clips, and his, I think his style is more, like, endure, and do, and, like, win by, like, kind of technical points. Oh, okay. Like, no knockouts. He's knocked out people before, but... I don't know, but I, I, I don't really know, I'm just talking out of my ass, but <laughs> that's just what I think. Oh. But did you do you know how big they are compared to each other though? 
If I didn't know who Floyd was, I thought I would think Logan was gonna win. Hmm. It's like he's Logan six foot two, I believe, and Floyd's five foot nine. Right. <laughs> yeah. So he's like he's taller than me. No, yeah, I think he's. I think like he's like tall as tall. Me? Yeah. So huh. that'll be like you trying to beat up me. So yeah, I like. won Logan Paul, guys. I'm the same height as Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> you saw what JJ tweeted out, right? <laughs> yeah. Guess he is the number one boxer right now. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm guessing you've also seen the Bryce Hall. You seen Bryce Hall versus KSI? Or yeah, um, I don't really right? get it. What? Who? Why is he even a thing? I don't know. Involved or a thing? I'm, yeah, I'm. Fr- I think it just, it just happened during the conference. And like, I've I saw it first when they did when KSI did the sideman video, the mukbang. They were talking about who would win in the TikTok versus YouTube boxing match. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you just I said. didn't watch that video. So I also think this. Uh, why not? the The fights are a, a week away. I'm just gonna put in my predictions now. Why not? Okay, so I only sc- know there's Deji versus somebody else. Okay, Deji versus <laughs> Vinny Hacker. You can just okay. you. I'm just gonna say Deji first. Yeah, that's Let's all. I, I, that's all I know. And then there's Face Jarvis versus Michael Lee. Apparently, Ooh. this Michael Lee kid has over 40 million TikTok followers. I've never heard of him until this until that I watched the conference. It, it, that's, the, that's the thing with TikTok. It's like they have so many followers, but then, but no one like outside of TikTok even knows them. I mean, you can say the same thing about it, like other things as well. Maybe. Yeah. But I have no... I don't know anybody. And I only know Deji. And that's it. Who... Like, who's Face Jarvis? Who, uh, he's the kid who cheated on Fortnite. And got banned. <laughs> the guy who was crying? Yeah. That guy. Uh, he looks good, that's though. That's funny. And then mm. there's... DDG versus... Oh, wait. I was gonna say who's gonna win. I'm saying Jarvis is gonna win. I don't know. Just I, like his for the YouTube side. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... cheering for YouTube side. Uh, just like body language and just how he spoke, and then versus the other guy, it's like you. You were no, actually, that's me. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, he wasn't. No, I retook. I took that back. At all, okay? <laughs> Why am I? No, Michael Lee. I don't know. Okay, look. He has long hair. He wears glasses. Uh, and he's Asian, so yeah, okay. there you go. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> no, just like I... how he was talking in the conference, he just wasn't that confident in his ability. He's like, hmm. "Oh yeah, I'm gonna train hard." Yeah, that was his uh, mindset. That's how, like how I'm talking right now. Like, I feel like I would say that too. I just uh, yeah, I'm not gonna to be. Yeah, but like, yeah. you can tell he wasn't like there. Hmm. You know what I mean? He's not like in the moment. Yeah, and well, then some people are just not as like hyper or cocky. Yeah, but then that speaks to their ability because that makes it look like people like they don't they're not confident it, in their skills, right? It could be that, or it could be that they're just not showboats, you know. They're That's also kind of true. Like in, in their own thing. Like some people are too overconfident in their ability. Yeah, but just okay, yeah. I agree with that, but just looking at this right now, it's probably gonna be phase Jarvis. So team YouTube. For me again, I'm going to be mostly on YouTube. There's also Gib versus Taylor Holder. Do you have any mm-hmm. clue? Uh, I don't know. I know Gib, but Taylor Holder is Bryce's friend. Yeah, that's all I know. 
I don't know. Like, I know what Gib looks like. I don't know what the other guy looks like or what he does. Taylor is pro- I'm going to say TikTok on this side right now. I think um, Taylor's going to beat Gib. From what I've seen, like, him sparring. Apparently, this guy has more boxing. He's been boxing for, like, years already. Huh. And I'm just not sure, like, how... He's also, like, really big as well. I want to say Gib, but right now, it's I'm more leaning towards Taylor. Also, just, well, like, yeah, the last so fight with Gib as well, so... I can't really have an opinion because I don't. I don't. I don't know what they look. And your camera is dead. Like I don't know what they look like or what I don't know what they are capable nope, of. It's fine because you're not in. You're not in. Ah! You're not in uh, TikTok's majority viewers, so it's cool. You're Team YouTube, anyways, and I shocked myself. Um, even Gib, I don't even know what Gib does. Gib's a YouTuber. That does what YouTube. Well, you you know his last fight, right? I know that because it was uh, against Jake Paul, so of course I know that one. Yeah. Then there's DDG versus Nate Wyatt. You don't know, so I'm just going to speed through this. DDG is going to win. He has more boxing experience. And Nate Wyatt is bigger, but a little bit bigger, but he has better than boxing. And then I forget the rest of the undercard <laughs> because they're not that important. Uh, but yeah, the main event, which is Austin versus Bryce. And how is that even the main event? Big names. The Austin. Pretty big. Yeah. Ace family? Uh, oh, but like, isn't he just not that big? What do you mean not that big? Oh, I think 20 I million like is pretty big, Katar. 20 million? What the hell? Yeah. I thought he was like 3 million or something. Probably on his foot's account. <laughs> if he had a right, like Austin's right foot, probably will have 3 million. This guy's huge. Mm. He, he does like fa- he's he's like a family blog channel, but he's like in LA, so yeah, they have to be have it. They have an ego there. Apparently. Uh, I really want to move to LA. I like why? to visit. No, I don't want to move. I don't want to move. Uh, I'll just visit. Yeah, LA is scary, man. It's freaking a whole another planet. California is a whole other planet. I huh? uh, just hear about so many things wrong and people are moving out of it because it's really expensive to live there. So it's big, just a bunch of rich people with egos yeah. staying there. So I'm just not... I visit for the beach. That'd be nice. <laughs> Wait, California's yeah, had I'm... beaches, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Good Venice Beach is dead. Uh, we could Stay be wrong. In LA. I <laughs> we could be wrong. <laughs> but, uh, I'm pretty sure Venice Beach is in LA. I think. Let me just look it up. Sure. Venice. But yeah, that's Beach. yeah, that's the gist of the whole thing. I'm hoping <laughs> all. Oh wait, I didn't say who won. I was gonna say Austin's gonna win because yeah, Bryce I is such a. Win. I don't know. He seems like a. He's really cocky, but it doesn't really show. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of like cocky, but like he's kind of like a kid kind of cocky. A kid kind of cocky. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like the kind of cockiness you get from a kid. Like, oh, you're gonna beat me up? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. You know. Like, 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 uh, say you have a, like tiny little younger brother, and you're like, ah, I can beat you. Or you you're just like, <laughs> sure. <laughs> no. Kind of like that. That's the kind of feel I get from him. Oh, so you're saying you could beat him? Huh? Well, I'll say that right now. 
I could beat him in a football match. I could probably beat him. <laughs> No, not yet. Definitely not. Maybe. I don't know. Get famous Plus, move. I don't win. want. I don't want Bryce to win. He's just so. Unfair. Yeah, I don't want him to win. I don't like Austin <laughs> either. But Team YouTube, man, and Team YouTube all the way. And also, yeah, like Bryce just needs to be put in his place. He's just talking too much. <laughs> yeah. Freaking A side, bro. We haven't even fought yet. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I think I'm going too much drama now. Either Dude. way, I don't really care. It's just entertainment. I don't care who wins or loses. I just hope YouTube wins. That's it. Yeah. If they don't, then whatever. Then TikTok has something over us. Hmm. TikTok can be good. It's, just it's funny how like way. yeah yeah. It's funny how we're saying stuff like. Oh, he's a TikTok. <laughs> he can't be YouTubers. But the people like outside of YouTube say has been saying the same thing. Like, yeah, just yeah. like Logan Paul versus Floyd Ray- Mayweather, right? Oh, he's a YouTuber. You can't box him. Look, he lasted all those rounds. He probably lost if there are judges, but he lasted and it's officially a tie. Yeah. Just whatever. <laughs> We've gone full circle. We've now now we're dissing the TikTokers in. Yeah. yeah, then the TikTokers are gonna diss some other group that shows up out of nowhere. Well, what else would be there? What would be cooler and more hip than TikTok? What's the next video thing idea? Blockchain uh, video? I would I I wouldn't you, know. Have you ever like noticed how what do you have you seen the NFTs people are selling now in videos? Like instead of merch, they're NFTs or something. What are I, NFTs? They're supposed to be kind of non fungible tokens. So have you ever heard of? Oh wait, you know the. Uh, is it Charlie bit my finger? Right. Oh. That yeah. video. They took it down. To sell it as an NFT. Yeah. So whoever buys it owns the video. What's the point? I don't know. They just want money, I guess. But <laughs> what funny. it's weird is people are selling meme NFTs as well. Like the picture of Doge or something. You, know, you get to keep the picture of Doge. That's great. It's officially yours. You get a certificate. You know, everyone else can get the same photo. Hmm. But it's yours apparently. Where was the meme originally from? It's stupid. <laughs> People buy random shit. It's just a thing. Nah, this is actually it's non valuable. That's it. It doesn't mean anything. There's no money behind it. Like how gold. Yeah, but pe- like people are like that though. It's like, oh, the original. It's like, oh, I bought this famous person's used tissues. It's, 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 I don't know. It's weird. People always seek out that kind of thing. Yeah, but NFTs are like digital. So I can take a screenshot of my computer and sell it. Yeah, but like, they can like own oh, the I have the original, you know? The original. That's like, they freaking froth at the mouth from that, that word, original. <laughs> okay. You, yeah, it's my screenshot. Sure, you can do the same exact thing over the same exact tabs, hmm. and you probably wouldn't tell the difference. But yeah, here's your little uh, seal of approval. Your legitimacy. Yeah, people just people just like to waste money on random stuff, and I don't know why. They're stupid. <laughs> Well, I mean, we've definitely. <laughs> no, what? Uh, I definitely haven't spent money on. You haven't, but I've spent like for you. <laughs> oh. I mean, I spent 10 baht. That, that, I spent 10, baht? 10 baht? On a skin. Oh, that's fine. Those are like. So, those are like perceived value. That can be pretend. 
that can pretend like, oh, because it used to be this price and it's gone lower, or it's like a special deal right now. You better get it while it's still like ten baht. Hmm. I don't know, man. People buy random shit. We're no exception there. <laughs> it's also like limited merch as well. Like buy uh, this before it goes out. No more will be made again. Yeah. They want the exclusivity of this YouTuber who is under one million subs know. or something. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know why they do that. I'll probably do it though, because. Uh, Doing it that way, you get viewers to buy it faster. Limited amount, know. no matter. It's better than the unlimited. I don't unlimited. think I would even make merch. They're going to make merch. Everyone's no. going to make merch. Yeah, you will. I don't think... I, no, I don't think... You I need... Know. Why are you going to have as a separate uh, revenue stream over YouTube, right? Patreon. Anything else? You only want to use Patreon? You Patreon? want to you want to branch yeah. out, right? Well, it's like listen, <laughs> listen. You're going once to make I, merch, okay? Once I get to that point, I'll think of where or how I would branch out. But right right now, I need to get to that point. No, I'm just under. I'm trying to understand why you consider not getting. I don't know. I don't, I just think merch is ugly. What if it's your merch? I still think it's like why would you, you designed it. You it's like why don't you go buy some, it as, you know, some shirt that actually looks good? Think of it as a way like oh you want to it's something you want to wear. So whatever you want to wear is ugly, guitar. But I want to wear like other shirts. Then make other shirts. No, like other other shirts. I want to make them. I can't make something nice. I want. I mean, design them. That's it. Slap. You know, just go on like Teespring, slap the design on it, and then sell it on its own. No, it's ugly. Have you ever bought merch before? <laughs> How do you know? No, I've seen merch though. It's usually ugly. It's just like, why would you wear that? Uh. <laughs> I mean, I like the face champion hoodie. That's all I'm saying. Now I want to get, but I think it's been sold out for a while. Water break. Hmm. I don't know. I just think merch looks weird. It looks ugly. I just rather buy like things from brands and wear them. YouTube, ch- YouTube channels are technically brands. But, uh, well, no, that's like no. I don't. I just don't want. I don't. I just don't like the idea, for some reason. You're weird. <laughs> I don't understand how you don't want like. Now, I'll think of it as a way as like oh, they also want to support their creators as well. I could branch out like in other ways. I don't know. They have, but this is not like Maybe. one of the first reason. And then it was like, do their own I'll like, I don't know, maybe I'll draw like an illustration and then sell that. And you're too lazy to put design on a shirt. Well, because that's just so like, I don't know, yucky. Why did you want like to draw the design and put it on the shirt? No, I know that's ugly. I don't. It doesn't even work. My illustrations don't work on the shirts. They yes, only they work do. On- but, uh, no, no, no. anime hoodies, good god, you know how much that would sell? <laughs> no. What do you mean no? You have one. I have one. <laughs> I have one because I didn't, I didn't buy that one. Oh, you like it, don't you? Oh, yeah, but I never wear it. It's more like a collectible. Exactly. Merch, collectible. <laughs> Same thing. Whatever. I just want to rip off there my we go. viewers, man. No, I, sh- I don't want to rip off my viewers. I don't want to ask him, hey, no, buy my it's merch. Not ri- no. It's no, ripping no, no. them off if it's like $60 for something that's obviously 10 Yeah, it's ripping them off. It's not. You need a profit margin. Well, I'll get to that point first, and then I'll decide on how I'll branch out my revenue. I thought you wanted money, Katar. I feel like you're so nice. I want money, but I want it in a good way. 
and Patreon is the way. Early access videos, you get them a few days earlier. What else is there? Um, oh, exclusive Discord. You get new roles. You got Patreon role <laughs> next to your name. I don't know, man. I don't even know what Patreon is. I just that's what it is. That's <laughs> early access special. I don't know. Exclusive. What it is, man. That's what it is. Your viewers are getting extra you, and no one else gets that. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's what it. Oh, you little freaking hypocrite. I don't don't even know what it is, so maybe I just won't branch out. You You have to branch out, because YouTube ad revenue is so bad. I've never gotten that, actually. It's like, I don't know, some videos that other people made overseas, 100k is $400, like what the hell is that? Where is the CPM here? We have like, Mm. one of the worst. We have like the bare minimum. Mm. At least we at least we can get monetized at least. But still, not anymore. <laughs> well, that's because no one here has a thousand subs yet. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, it's so hard. Why can't I just get a thousand subs? Why maybe I should just make a thousand accounts and then sub to myself? Mm. You can, but are you gonna watch with that account? With those accounts all the time? I'm pretty sure people have done that as well. Like, they set up their own. Think of it as Bitcoin mining, but it's just YouTube subbing. Uh, so, yeah, just take a bunch of devices, run out command on them or something, and then they'll watch. I think that's how most sub and view uh, purchasing sites work. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's like actual people subbing. Yeah. So, I or, don't know. Yeah, I haven't I, tried. No, well, I'm not going to do that because that's... No. <laughs> that's not good, and I also don't want to. I can't be yeah, it's bothered. Not, it's not earned. And yeah. they're not real. Right? Yeah. I can't stoop so low as to sell merch and make a Patreon and and, <laughs> and branch out. You think those people are stupid? Well, that's how you mean. Just wait. You're going to do that. You're going to do that. You're going to do that, and I'm going to sell NFTs. Let's go. We'll see. We'll see. First, we had to get to that point, so... Wow. Did you watch the latest episode of One Piece? They're now, I think, back on track. Mm. So it's back the to the latest one. The latest one. The latest one's is they're going. back from the story, yeah. <laughs> so be happy. You're still watching them, dude, though, right? I and watched well, one today. It was just holding, holding them in the pot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then, oh my god, just 10, I think it's 10 more days till Record of Ragnarok is streaming. Hmm. That's gonna be hype. I mean, it's actually no. I I don't know if they're gonna pull it off, but what do you mean pull if off? they do, like if they pull off the anime for Ragnarok, I have big expectations. They better pull it off. If they pull it off, there's gonna be so freaking hype. Like, it's gonna be like I don't know. I don't know. It's just gonna be really, really hype. Best anime of all time. Wait, you read the. I read some of it, but then I stopped because I wanted to watch the anime. Yeah. I'm glad I like stopped a few months ago because I kind of, I still remember what's happening, but it's a bit fuzzier now. Hmm. I don't know. I just got past the Lubu fight, and then I'm up to Adam, and then I stopped at Adam. You didn't finish Adam. No, I stopped before he even started. So. He just entered oh, that's good, book. because that's like the best fight in the whole manga. Yeah, see, I'm just saving. I, I know what's good. Which but is, yeah, that's going to be so hype. It's just, it's just built. It's just 
for hype. Or <laughs> like when you're re when you're reading the manga, you can just feel the hype coming out of the pages. <laughs> yeah, see, everyone likes tournament arts. It's just like yeah. power overpowered people fighting each other. It's just freaking. Yeah, it's just cool. yeah. I, I also just like mythology and stuff like that. Anyways, so say like Thor and all like all the gods there, or something like that, and how yeah. like all their powers are implemented, their abilities, and Aphrodite has giant. <laughs> Yeah, their designs are good. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's like always this I guy mean, yeah, holding up her <laughs> Goddess of Love. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, Lubu looks cool. Thor looks really cool. Zeus is as much as I expect super old. Probably, yeah. yeah. Mm. The Valkyrie also looks cool. It's just, it's just good. It's just good. Yeah. Well, Hopefully and... they pulled it off. Wait, what studio is making it? No idea. You want to look it up? I am. Um... Let's see. But yeah, our inner geeks are coming out. Like this is like this is probably like the only time I've waited for a new anime to come. Graphinica, what is that? I never heard of this. Kind of has the same aesthetic as One Punch Man season two. Oh, they made Helsing Ultimate, like Gridman. I Wait, guess that's, that's Trigger. Good. No, that's Trigger. What? Oh, they helped make Helsing Ultimate. Okay, never mind. Hello World, which was CG, so <laughs> I can't really see I won't much. be. I am okay with CG as long as they keep it super minimal. Just like the crowds or something. Mm. No, but this was. I think this was like full CG. I'm looking and I don't really see. You don't see any anime you recognize? Uh, oh my. No, there is anime I recognize, but it's like joint kind of done like uh like a way, like collaborating with other studios, like Helsing. So it's Graphic Nika the only ones that made this, or is it like no, it's like with other studios. So it's like Graphic Nika and then Madhouse and someone else. Like none, none of the anime that is like made by Graphic Nika alone is. Um, does stand out to me. So I don't know. It's hopefully, yeah, none of the anime that Graphnika made alone, like, have uh, I've I never heard about them or like they just aren't that good. Hey, maybe they did all the cool anime shots. That's why they reached out. To help with like I don't the know, super man. smooth animations, we'll just see. And I mean, yeah, we'll just see. Yeah, just think of like all the coolest animation looking scenes in One Piece or something. You know that one guy that did it because like how he flows with it. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just have to see because I don't know this studio. Honestly, what I saw just saw just now. Um, they haven't really done anything significant, so <laughs> I know I'm being mean, but <laughs> hopefully they can pull this off. Yeah, I believe have some hope. They will pull through. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You look like Sans. No, I don't look like Sans. I look like Sans. Hmm. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or is it uh, speaking of hype anime, yes. Uh, I I heard you started Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, I think it's okay now. <laughs> wow. I like I liked it. Wow. I liked it the first five episodes, but then it just kind of slowed down. I like okay so far. I like the fights. The animations are really good, but I think the story is just slowed down for me. 
just like watching okay. the first season. So, no, no. Okay, so here's how you watch Jujutsu. I the story is fine, but that's not why you watch Jujutsu. <laughs> Yeah, I, I honestly I don't really care about the the story. I don't I honestly don't really even remember it. But wow. But you but you watch it for the fights mm-hmm. and the characters, okay? Mm-hmm. The characters are all so freaking cool. Okay, I wait. I was going to get to that. Like yeah, I like yeah, okay. I like Nanami and of course, Sojo, who's not gonna like Sojo. Uh, yeah. Who's Sojo? Main character. <laughs> Isn't it Gojo? Oh, yeah, Gojo or something. <laughs> I'm probably mixing it up <laughs> with Satoru Gojo being Kataru Go- Sojo, probably. And then I like the the kid. I like Toto. And I like uh, the white haired kid that keeps saying. Or any Giri food ingredients. Ah, He's probably like yeah. super cool, but I haven't seen too much of him yet. Yeah, to all see. of everybody. Everybody. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't seen the school. The school. I'm up to the part where they're trying to spoil alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Where they're trying to uh, just skip the f- next ten seconds. Where I'm trying to. They're trying to kill uh, uh, Itadori. Ah. Uh. Okay. Anyways, there, there, honestly, when I was watching the series, there's like no character that I hate. Everybody is just so cool. Everyone has their own badassness to them. And, and it's just so cool. That's basically it. Everyone is just so cool. The main guy is cool. His friends are cool. The freaking teachers are cool. The villains are cool. <laughs> Everyone like is just head? Head. actually yeah, I like volcano. Head. He's even cool. Everyone is saw, cool. Yeah, like, I remember like watching the like his first parts, just showing up, just like literally everybody. Yeah, it's just freaking cool. Everything. And like the characters also have a really good chemistry. It's just so refreshing. It's like, yes, this is what we need. And yeah, how how old is it? Did it come out like came out like. Uh, winter season, I think. No, fall. Can yeah, it came s- out fall can season. You say it in English terms. Last... <laughs> came out like I think last year. Oh, there you go. Last year, like during the fall season, mm-hmm. and then. Right. So it's not many seasons. Oh wait, was it the winter? No, I think it was. It started in fall, but ended in winter because it was twenty four episodes. Yeah. So there's only one season. Yeah. What? Yeah, I gotta get a movie, so we'll set to wait. Yeah. Better than uh, Demon Slayer, but, that's for sure. Yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> this is, like, basically the next big shonen that everyone's talking about. Ooh, we'll see. I mean, it is. I guess, like, emo- no, I mean, the plot's not that strong. I it's still think it's theory. pretty strong, but like its characters are like what makes me like the show so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just so cool. It's just so cool. And the pay and the story act paces like really well, really quick, but not like too confusing. Mm-hmm. So like You sure it's gonna so, be like, one? No no you don't either. So like you see like uh my hero academia. My Hero Academia's pacing is so slow. So goddamn slow. Are you even watching the new season of My Hero? Yeah, they're still doing their little versus battles with Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's like what's the point? <laughs> like when is this going to end? Like when are they going to get out of the they're school? They're showing off and class B, that's why. It's it's kind of pointless. Like like what is the goal here? Like what? Where? Shinzo. Like, what? Yeah, but it's like what is going on? It's like what the hell? Like it's progressing so slow, like so slow. Like didn't we have this like I don't know two seasons ago? Wasn't it a tournament arc? And this is another, basically, another tournament arc. 
Yeah, so I think it's kind of like a break from the big plot that was last season. Mm. But yeah, but it is like, like hard to go through. It kind of feels like filler, kind of. It's like can can they just get on with the main stuff? Like I mean, they reveal new powers. To be fair, yeah, but, and new characters. That, that's like nothing. How long did it take? Five seasons. They were training hard. Listen, okay, just this is where Jujutsu Kaisen is pacing here. absolutely destroys My Hero Academia because my Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen, what they did with their pacing, they did in one season and what My Hero Academia had to do in five. But Todd, that's like trying to face fate with something, okay? You, do, you can't really do that. I gotta you, do this. You are facing my Hero Academia Jujutsu Kaisen, is so which isn't slow. really a shonen right now, off it's a versus shonen. an actual shonen, like long pace filler type. This is shonen. why Jujutsu is like almost the perfect shonen. It's just the pacing is good, the characters are good, the story is good. You guys should watch the Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> I'm gonna sip for Jujutsu Kaisen. When I when I saw it first came out, I was like, oh look, another shonen. I I, I even held off on it until like I watched it only like a month ago. And then I finished watching it. Like, yeah. And then I started watching it, and it's just so good. It's so good. Everything's good. The characters are good. The pacing is phenomenal. The story is good. <laughs> it's good. I still called it a uh, Naruto ripoff. Naruto ripoff. I don't think it's a Naruto ripoff. Okay, just just like hear me out for a little bit. I think it's inspired it's, by a lot of shonen. It's very coincidental. Okay, so Gojo, you know who he resembles. Okay, a little more exotic. Maybe that made they made his personality a bit opposite. But uh, Kakashi. So yeah. Then Sukuna is Kurama stuck Listen, in the boy. Listen, Jujutsu Kaisen is Secret like power. Their own... huh? Yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen is like inspired by like a lot of shonens, and but they had to like they do uh, their own thing though. I would say, oh. like you can you can tell that it's been inspired by. Other sh- that up uh, by other shonens before it. You can just tell. You can just tell. You can tell. <laughs> One could say they're copying off other shonens. Nah. You should put it that way. Can't really say copy. I don't think they're copying. Okay, but for me right now, I think. It's a bit slow. I've been slow. watching like slow. Half, half half an episode sometimes and then I continue off like the next day. So mm. like even today I finished like one and a half while eating something. Yeah. I mean I mean I'm basically the same way. I barely watch anime actually. Oh. Anime, maybe we're getting tired of it at some point. No, I just think that I just don't want. I I think I just watch it when I like eat food when it, before I go to bed. That's the only that's the only time I watch it. Well, that's uh yeah, I can agree. That's the only time I can watch it as well. Hmm. So yeah. And then, oh yeah, I was gonna tell the story today. What was going on? At yeah, just go on. Me. So, I get into the office, right? Last week, we've had a electric issue, and there was a mechanic fixing it. But I came in today thinking it was fixed, right? So I yeah. tried turning on the aircon. Aircon doesn't work. And then everything goes haywire. We've, mm. like... Power's not on one side here, and we have computers running right now, right? So yeah, we have backup supplies, but there's a time limit to how long they can last, and there's no electricity going through them anymore. So if that computer's off, then I'm screwed. Right? Uh. 
So I'm looking for ways to like try to fix it. I just turned on the aircon and then everything went well weird for some reason. Uh, in the end, were you with, were you alone or were there? No, I was, I was alone because we're not working. Yeah, just club, but we're not working uh, at our office anymore because uh, we have so much fun at home. That's why. Uh, yeah. So I was just frantically trying to uh, trying to fix it. I called the people at the office to come and take a look, but it was too late. The computer shut off, and we had to restart it once we had we once it uh, was fixed again. But it was uh. really weird. And also, I tried charging my phone in one of the ports, and that exploded. So very. Is that very, why your wire was? Huh. Yeah, that's, yeah, what, that's what it was. <laughs> a little, there's a, so we have like this USB hub and it's used to charge our phones, right? I plug my one in yeah. and then after like 15 minutes while well, I'm waiting for uh, the people to come fix the part in uh, this part of the room, uh, it just exploded. <laughs> and a little puff of smoke, like a little mushroom cloud came up from one of the USB sockets from where I was charging and I quickly I uh, pulled the cord out and I unplugged the extension cord I was thinking to myself what if other stuff has been overloaded right we have a bunch of computers so I went around the whole office just like shutting off extension cords and uh, yeah it was, uh, it was very scary just so then like what did they do to fix it nah they fixed it already we're still having problems with the aircon though but yeah, just all in all, the um, moral of the story is uh, I don't know. Our office is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty nice office, though. It's nice, yeah. but yeah, it's just a problem. So that's it. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had. We at this house even had electric problems. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we did. It was me. It was me again. <laughs> Okay, so okay. I took a shower in the bathroom downstairs. Oh. My hand was wet. And you know how the light used to dangle, right? Yeah, yeah. I tried switching the light off with my wet hand and then it exploded. <laughs> I don't think that was your... F- it was! It's true. If you have a wet hand, don't use it to turn off your light. I do that all the time. Yeah, I do it too. It's I still do it. Exactly. But my so I don't think. no no the thing is wait wait my our logic is we're so wet but we're not touching like the space in between the light switch. Yeah. Right. We're just touching the little yeah. part that's arches, so there's no water touching that. Water did seep in, and that's how it exploded. How else would it have exploded? Okay, but I it's don't think when, that's a technical problem. I think that's just because you went and poured water onto an electric switch. No, it was my hand. I didn't pour water. Well, yeah, exactly. You went and put water on it. That's from that's that like yeah, from my wet uh, hand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that would do, if you poured like put water on any electric socket, it would do the same thing. I don't think that's a technical problem. I think that you just happened to make that. I mean, problem. it was a problem that happened. It was a problem that happened because you went. Okay, it's not because you, you, of our faulty electricity. It's because I touched water with the light switch, okay? But <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying yeah. something happened at our house, okay? It's not exactly <laughs> the same. <laughs> Why, you never had anything explode in your face, Tom? No. <laughs> now I'm just remembering, like, back in Phuket. But we have, we have a toaster, right? <laughs> yeah. Man. You you never done this before? No. I don't know why, but the wire, right? That's how we can turn off the toaster, but it's behind the shelf. The toaster's on top of it, and it's a bit narrow in between, like, the wall and the shelf, right? So, yeah, I'm trying to pull the plug, but I can't. So I take a fork... Great. 
I take, I take no a fork. Ways to die. <laughs> I take a no fork way. and try. Uh, I try. I try prying the plug out. It's either a fork or a spoon. I don't remember. I know I used silk fork to try to pry it out. And of course, you know what? You know what happens. I got shocked. Oh, uh, big whoop. <laughs> yeah, I think I had a really bad problem with electricity. Just like. Getting, I think you're just stupid, bro. Even okay, okay. How about my phone, huh? You know you're my phone. One, <laughs> you're the only one having problems here. Why does I, why? I don't know? I never had any problems. You would freaking put water on the lights, which we could use the fork to try to pry open a plug. My phone shocks me as well. <laughs> ne- next thing you know, I'm gonna get struck by lightning. Mark my words. That's the next step. I don't know what else. You're gonna get struck by lightning because you're, be, you you're know, gonna be just... running around outside with a metallic flagpole running around in an open field. Do you do you are you one of the people who believe like when you put phones inside of your pockets that and while so on, you think you're gonna get electrocuted by lightning where you are? No. I've heard that from so many people from so many places and I think it's real, but I still like turn it on. Anyways, because mm-hmm. I want to listen to music, right? But that's what people I mean, think. I, guess. I just don't walk around with my phone out in the rain. What if when you're sad, then you want to like feel sad more? With sad song, and then like, you go into the shower. <laughs> um, but that's not that sad. Yeah, I just don't walk around in the rain. Any other electrocution stories? So pretty sure. And I've had like other like just like normal ones where it's like sometimes it's just like I don't know our desktop is overly like too overly static so you should touch it yeah and zap, something like that and no, always happens that, I don't think I've had any other interesting things <laughs> interesting I like that house it was the it was the smallest one with the with the balcony, which is ah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. a foot off the ground or something. Sure, that was the smallest. I'm pretty sure we had one before that, but I don't remember. Uh, yes. Okay, maybe like the second smallest. The smallest one was the one that was near the park. I think we were okay. like right next to it. Do you remember? Yeah, it was like I a, don't remember. It was it. Like a, I remember we had a house before the one with the balcony. That's yeah, all yeah. I remember. I don't the, actually remember that. It was house. like this house... What from what I remember in my mind right now is like this is gate, but the gate is kind of underneath the road. Hmm. That's how it was okay. before. But I don't know like how big it was. But I I think it was the smallest one. Yeah. And then the second house is probably the one we most remember. How oh. did we fit? How did we fit? There we were, were like three rooms, right? Yeah, but like the- yeah, yeah, there's so there's no there's two bedrooms, uh, no, one bathroom. No, there's three of them. Room. No, there's two. There was the boys' room. There's one. The there's the master guest no. room. Oh wait, yeah. Yeah, there was oh. three. The main room, oh, yeah. which was dad's and mom's room, but everyone slept in it anyways. I don't know why. <laughs> and then there was a the boys' room, and then there was a the guest room. Yeah, oh wait, no, no, no. Yeah. I think mom and dad slept in the guest room, and then Angel Pan Tita slept in the main room. At no. some point, but then before that, I think we did all sleep together. Hmm. Yeah. That was a nice house. Cute little balcony. I don't, I Very... don't really, really remember. I remember there are two steps that go down to the dining room. And then there's kind of, and then there's a door that led out to the back. Mm-hmm. Door that led out to the patio. Yeah. But yeah. And then a, a little bit house. there was like a, and we had a evergreen Christmas tree sort of. I don't remember that. We had a Christmas um, tree, like an actual one, but we never used it like for Christmas or something. It was just there, mm-hmm. like the tree. Yeah, the balcony, which was like kind of small, but it was nice. Just like hop around on it. Yeah. It's a bit yeah. far. I think it was like, it's a bit farther away. I don't know how close it is to... Do you remember how close that was to Central? Uh, was no. it like walking distance? No, I don't think so. I think that was the other house. 
Probably. You know, when we... You were... Actually, no, you were there. When we went back to Phuket in, like, 2015 or something, or what? what when was that? You mean our holiday? Yeah. It was 2018. That, pretty sure it was 2016. Because you're talking about the one with Dad, Tita, and Squishy. It was 2018. Yeah. But you're talking about the ones where we went there to learn. It was 2015 and 16. No, no, no. No, no not that. Pretty sure it's 2016. Wait, I need to. It was 2018. Verified it. it was Jul- Anyways, it was so, like, well developed. Like, way more developed when I went back. Like, this, there's, like, freaking two essentials or something. It's like, wow, there's so sense. many cars. It's like, it's like there's so many people in Phuket now. Uh, for us, a whole freaking generation has passed. Well, yeah, but it was like before, it was like kind of yeah, quiet and peaceful. Of it was. I think like the only malls there was Big C, Central, hmm. and Junk Ceylon. Yeah. I'm sure there were more. But we did, we like barely went to Junk Ceylon, though. Junk Ceylon was like the one that was next to the beach and a little fancy and rich as well. I think that was the biggest one. The biggest one was Central, I remember. Oh, wait, no. Nah, Junk Ceylon. I think, I think the biggest. Junk Ceylon used to be the biggest in Thailand until I think uh, I can't say yeah, I came in. Hmm. Yeah. I can't say I'm a super boring, by the way, guys. Uh, it's just not fun. Okay, so yeah, it was 2018. Yeah, I remember. Huh? Freaking World Cup. Oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> okay, friend, remember that detail then? Yeah, freaking. <laughs> Oh my god, what am I doing? What is this look I'm trying to go What are you doing? Are you looking at photos right now? (laughs) (laughs) I can't see. (laughs) Okay, never mind. I stopped. I stopped looking. Yeah. Okay. The thing, like, the only few things I remember is, like, uh, like, the World Cup we were watching, and also other personal stuff. And, uh,. uh, uh, the storm that happened during the beach. <laughs> we were such idiots. <laughs> like, we had basically the freaking not rain mentality, mentality that we have in Lopri, where it's kind of like, because, okay, so like when we want to go out to play football at like 5 o'clock, and then we see it looks like it's going to rain, we always have that mentality in our head, like, oh, it's not going to rain. It's not going to rain. And sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it does. Okay? So when we're in Phuket, we were like, we set up our picnic, we we're eating chicken and sticky rice on the beach, and it's this freaking uh, giant, you can see the freaking storm coming, the freaking gray cloud out over the horizon. You can see it coming. And we're just like, oh, it's not going to rain. <laughs> it's, 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 it'll be fine. And then, <laughs> and then, it starts getting closer. We're still sitting there, just chilling, eating our chicken and sticky rice. It's coming closer. And we're, st- we're still like, yeah, it's not going to rain. <laughs> and then it, act- it finally reaches us. And it's just like this blast of wind. Like freaking like full speed wind. Like it was strong wind. It was blowing all the sand and it hurt. Like it was blowing all the sand around. It hurt. It really hurt. And it was just quickly packed up, and then this lifeguard was trying to call us into the tent or something, but we didn't listen. We just, like, so, like, to get back to our car, we had to run through, like, these, like, um, trees. These really tall trees. With the spiky so, yeah. pine cone things. Yeah. So, like, we had to run through that, which is honestly pretty stupid. I mean, branches could fall down any second with wind this strong but anyways we ran through that and we got up to our car and then booked it we were gone so yeah, we were just stupid i think there was a hurricane there. it was pretty bad like the next day i was on the news and like some boats went missing a freaking helicopter crashed and yeah. you're yeah. not joking are you 
I'm not joking. It was, a freaking helicopter like, crash? Like, some boats were, like, went missing at sea. Some people went missing also at sea. And a helicopter crash. That's, like... Freaking tsunami 2.0. <laughs> and we're just here freaking chilling, eating our chicken and sticky rice. <laughs> on the side of the beach. Uh, it's a nice couple of days. Ooh. Ooh. Eh. Ooh, I need vacation already. I mean, when is, like, your... I don't know, but... No, it's just, it's like, I just want something off now. Of course, anyone I mean, wants vacation, it... man. I mean, how long till you worked for one year so that you can take your, I don't know, leave? No, I can take my leave any time, but... You know, you need to reserve your days for, like, the holidays so you can make it last longer. And just, like, switch it out. Uh, that's what most people do. And that's what I need to do. Yeah. Mm. When's the last... Yeah, uh, Squishy's birthday is coming up. I don't know what to get in. Four days. I already uh, ordered... He's not, he doesn't watch his podcast, right? I can tell you what. <laughs> Go ahead. You sure? I I don't know. I don't think he does. Did he ever say? No, but I I don't think he does. Uh, just keep it for later. Mm. Just give me a hint or something. Well, nah, I'll just tell you later. Uh, Whatever but, it is, uh, it better not anyways, be in-game items. I already ordered it, so it's not in-game. <laughs> it's the first time I ordered something privately. I never ordered from, like, an individual seller. Huh? Like, not... Like, really? I didn't order it off of Lazada or, like, Shopee. Oh, that's I, so... Normal. But, I know, yeah, but like I never did it before. I like I never did it before. I never like bought something from like a private seller, you know. One of those niches, right? Mm. Yeah, I mean, just like it's just easier to get it from those ones because you cannot really trust individual companies unless they like have a stamp of approval from like bigger stuff like this. Yeah. Like how likely is it you're gonna get it from this site? Like, well, I got it from the private because when because it's harder to find this kind of product on those big sites, and also it's cheaper privately because this kind of product is just freaking expensive. I'm pretty sure you get the gist of what I'm, what kind of product I got him. No. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going Never to mind. guess. Expensive, but cheap. Expensive, but exclusive. If you look, you can get it cheap. That's you said that for a lot of things. Well, anyways, but like considering how much money you have, though, how much would you spend? I spent like two hundred sixty baht. Stuck. I yeah, don't just know. whatever. Progress. Move on. Oh. I'll tell you afterwards. It's going to get big now. Yeah. Squishy needs to be such a tiny. He needs to freaking make the video, the Genshin oh. video. I told him to make. No, I wanted That's to see the did. Roblox bit. I didn't care how bad. I wanted to see was. the. I wanted to see that one too, but. <laughs> the freak. No, the audio isn't bad. That's not the problem. It's it's that OBS OBS didn't record the Discord audio. I don't care. I wanted to see my part. It means that it wouldn't have heard you. I know. <laughs> so it was. I still want to see it. You like, saw it wouldn't see have it, heard you know, it yeah. wouldn't have heard you and it wouldn't have heard me. It would, it would just be weird. Him talking to nobody. Why didn't he set that up? 
Well, I told him to set it up, and then when I was now done getting out, I mean, no, cleaning the kitchen, I went back. I was like, "Okay, are you ready?" And he was just playing Roblox, and he wasn't even ready. Oh, well, whatever. We can just do that another another time. That's nice. And I gave him some Genshin ideas for him to do. He hasn't done. He hasn't done them yet. Uh, Genshin. Like yeah, he wants to do he wants to do Genshin content, so Yeah. Why not? And I feel like Genshin is also has a good viewership right now. Uh, I haven't seen any like big up and coming like exploding in terms. Hmm. I think it just all comes down to what you do with the Genshin content. Ooh. Because it's like a pretty new game. It has Ugh. a lot of, I don't know, potential. Mm. So, yeah. I gave him some good ideas. He said he's going to do them, but he hasn't done them yet. So, we'll we just have to see. Yeah. Oh, squishy so... I'm just going to keep saying it. Squishy got so big. So big. So, so quickly. Deep. His hair is long. Well, I mean, that's long. His He's fingers are long. <laughs> His hands are so big, he can probably play basketball. <sighs> that doesn't make sense. My top, my hands are tiny compared to like everyone else. I have girly hands. Okay. I but, don't think so. So okay, not like feminine hands, but they're small. Okay. They're not even They're smaller small. than yours. Oh, well, I have big feet and big hands. Maybe like the same length, but they're like, your ones are r- more wide. And, round. and Squishy's oh. ones, we have, I've already compared mine to Squash's, but it's like, I think his ones, like... Well, that, that the same goes with my feet as well. My feet are more wide. Uh, than yours. You're just a my wide one? boy. Yeah, I'm just wide. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Just kind of think of you're just wider than me. Yeah. Yeah, I have a, like a different body type. Wider head, wider body, wider eyes. Yeah, yeah. I'm basically saying if you just took the transform tool and went like this. <laughs> that's basically... Oh, I was gonna think. I was more like if you took me and then went like this. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the, and a bit lighter as well. Either way, you get the same effect. It's just squishy though. Squishy's his own thing then. Squishy's like your body type: skinny, long, skinny and long. He's like more. Mm. Mm. Yeah. How old is he gonna be? Sixteen. <laughs> Shite. <laughs> <laughs> what was I doing when I was sixteen? You I was doing YouTube. YouTube. And then you tried. Hey, like, see, it's his year. Something. I did. I tried going for a job at sixteen in Padia. Do not go sixteen in Padia if you're not into prostitutes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and also. I don't think you should just. I don't think you should look for a job when you're 16. I think you should. You should. I don't know. Like, I think you're a bit too young. Not like young. full time. Like leave the house. Yeah, I think. But maybe that was part time. Uh, that but was your in, one was full time, wasn't it? That was in August four years ago, right? So, I graduated in January, which was pretty uh-huh. early. That's why I didn't really have anything. But mm. yeah, so when Angel suggested I go try just uh, what was it marketing job I think something like that, then I went to go do it and see how it goes. I did it for one day and didn't like it and then went straight back. Mm. I think it's good if you're at home, but you have a part time, so you're not like relying on yourself. Yeah, so you have like people around. Maybe you. like a waiter part time. Yeah. It's kind of harder for us because we speak English. Um, that <laughs> should not be a problem, actually. 
Oh, I mean, it is. <laughs> yeah. But then, yeah, yeah. after that, but, yeah, I was just doing YouTube on 16. And that's it. Mm. Dedicating myself. Hey, and that was yeah, when. Yeah, you got 20,000 subs, so. Good. And that, and when I started from, like, when I came back from that job, from. I had 2,000 in. September, and then it just explode. Yeah, and then I ended off with. It's not a lot. It's relative, but I thought it was super cool. Like, it's a lot. Saying I exploded <laughs> from two thousand in October to uh, around seven thousand in at the end of December. It's it's just really it's it's a lot. Yeah, I think. Fun. I think maybe once you get, I don't know, your first thousand, it kind of goes up from there. Like, people start of course. saying. No, He's... like, be- because people start saying, like, oh, this guy has a thousand subs. Maybe I should watch his video or something yeah. like that. You know, I feel like when people watch somebody's video and they see this guy only has, like, 40 subs or something like that, they're kind of, they're kind of deterred from it. At least that's what I think. I mean, at the start, I guess. Yeah, it just takes time. I mean, I don't mind subbing to, like, smaller people. I Normally, it's, if I want to sub to people like that, it's people I know. Yeah. Most of the time. I don't think I would, like, find someone random and with 40 subs and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to watch this guy. Why not? Yeah. I mean, special occasion, I'm sure I have if their videos were good. But, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm coming back up. I uploaded a video again. Uh, <laughs> I saw. I mean, after two months, yeah, my root viewer retention rates. Yeah, I feel it, but I feel like is it like a trend though? This yoga thing? Not that video. I, was, I did a gaming video. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see your gaming video. I saw the yoga video. <laughs> I like the yoga video though. No, is that the trend? Like the yoga. No, I just thought of it on a whim. Because when I, when I watched the yoga, then, I, then the very next day, a YouTuber I watched did the exact same thing. I was like, what? what? <laughs> He's watching my channel? <laughs> no. But I, I recorded I that like la- like the week before. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just, maybe, maybe it's a trend. Who knows? No, I'm just having fun. But yeah, I'm uploading on two channels now. <laughs> one for fun and then one for like to try to get a thousand subs again. I'm gonna get a thousand subs again. But I haven't uploaded on that since like two months. So it's kind of mm. slow right now. I kind of want to make a Genshin channel, but like I have my own channel to maintain. <laughs> you can try. I'm gonna take off my hair bad. <laughs> because I like playing Genshin a lot. Like a lot. Mm. And like I don't think it really fits with my uh, freaking channel that I have right now. No. It's up to you. I just know that trying to make quality gaming vids is a bit long. Mm. Yeah. I had more ideas, but I'll tell you after because I don't want people to steal my ideas. <laughs> right. Like, you can just do them, like, right now, like, right after this. It's hard. We're so into this podcast right now, I, I'm not sure how, what we're up to. Let me check. We're up to, like, an hour 14, right? No one's going to go this far. Uh, you never know. We might have a loyal fan out there. Is it, like, a group thing, or it's just you? What do you mean, a group? Oh, just me. some reason, group channels are booming. I'm not going to do a group channel, but when I get back, when I get back home, I definitely want to try something. Yeah. It's just fun. Fun in a group. Yeah, you're, I'm just not funny alone. That's it. I can't force myself to be funny. You can learn. How I to can learn, funny. but I'm not very smart at it, honestly. Well, you just need to keep trying to be funny. And I will. Be 
I, some videos, yeah, I, I probably have, but it's just I'm more comfortable with playing it off with someone else because that's it's easier, right? It's more natural. I'm not just forcing... think of it when you're alone, you're playing it off with somebody else, like with the viewer, you know. No, it's just like, it's nice that someone is laughing along with me because then I know it's funny. Hmm. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm playing with, um, are you playing a with nail tweezers? clipper. Oh. <laughs> a nail clipper and tweezers. <laughs> such a kid. I am not a kid. You are a kid. Listen, oh. you're only an adult once you're 20. That's a fact. Nah. No. It's true. Because 19 is teens. Nah. I mean, people just say I'm a kid still, so I'm definitely still a kid. Everyone says everyone is a kid. Well, if I say I'm a kid, then you're a kid, okay? Not much you can say about that because you're... Fine, a kid. I'm a kid. Happy. Yep. I'm just a very mature kid. Mature kid? Yes, very mature. Yeah, sure. (laughs) Remember he had a sock puppet for so long. What was his name? Fishy? Oh my god. (laughs) I don't even know what happened to him. You had to like I don't know how old you were until you lost. I freaking made up this freaking story. Oh yeah, you went to college. <laughs> like, like I okay, so I had this sock puppet, not a puppet, like like a little plushie that I made out of a sock. <laughs> so basically, it's a sock. You fill it with cotton. You stitch buttons for eyes, and you stitch on a tail, and boom, you got a fish plushie, and I called it fishy. And it was my favorite plushie. Mm-hmm. So then one day I lost this plushie. <laughs> I lost this plushie. And I came up with an Elias for it. Which, uh, yeah. I mean Alias? <laughs> for it be- yeah, Alias. <laughs> of it being lost. Like say it was like, oh, where's Fishy? And I... <laughs> Why um, was um, I teasing then, you again? I don't remember. I don't know. And then I would be like, oh, I'm still, like, he's in, he went to college now. And then you're like, oh, do you still talk to him? Oh, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I talked to him through fish hook. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just playing it off from each other to the point <laughs> where we're just annoying the frick. <laughs> like, I say some obviously stupid thing, and you're like, oh, yeah, the freaking fish hook. Yeah, I'm still in contact with him through Fishhook. Pretty sure you are still in contact with him. <laughs> yeah. He's a grown up. He's got a wife and kids now, and uh, I think he's doing good. I don't know why I was trying to get at you for something. I don't remember. I just know I never liked that sock of it. <sighs> yeah. We made our own toys. We're good. Yeah, I did. No, really. I know I had Teddy. I like that one. I had that guy for a long time. I remember thinking, like, if my teddy bear would last this long, I would have it to college or something. And I would think about it during my sleep. Like, would I actually keep this teddy bear with me? I have it to college. Yes, college. Like, we would then, go to college in the first time. I mean, yeah. It's quirky now, though, having... I'm pretty sure, like, people like you having teddy bears now. I mean, I, I want teddy bear. Mm. No. I want plushies. I want animals. Yeah. Like, you just put no. them around. Not for sleeping with, but, like, just decoration. I want Rats. just, like, normal stuffed animals. Thank you. Oh. No, you kind of just put them around and then leave them for decoration. I, Actually, I, no, I, I do use one big plushie kind of to lift my head more, to elevate to my head more because my pillow is a bit too low. Mm-hmm. So that I use one plushie to sleep. 
Yeah. I just yeah, teddy bears that I remember. I had him for so long that his eyes came out. Ah, <laughs> uh, this was so funny. So what? So this teddy bear I'm talking about is like a panda. We all, all the siblings got them after like a Christmas show. And my one lasted the longest, but it looked very bad. So the nose, the nose came off. So it was like this rubber stud here. The eyes like peeled off, like the string got loose and then the eyes had to go off. And then I played with it so much that its head was split open. So cotton just kept coming out. I pretty much had like a zombie of a teddy bear, right? And for some reason, Tina really wanted the look of the teddy bear like that. <laughs> oh my but God. I would say mine lasted longer, right? But my one yeah. was in that state at that moment. Her one was just fine, right? Yeah. Her idea was to cut off the eyes, <laughs> cut off the nose, and split the head open. Genius. To, oh, my watch goes off. To make it look like my one. I don't know why she did it, I, even till this day. Yeah, it's one of my ones. I don't know how she wanted the zombie look, man. She wanted the zombie look. That was weird. She she did her own surgical. She copied me. She did her own surgical operation on her own teddy bear. It's domestic surgery. This is better than actually no. Her one's worse, but then your one is still bad as well. I don't know what happened to this. Oh wait, you you threw it. Why? Yeah, it was lost. <laughs> it was lost. I, I don't know how to explain that. Um. So at the resort we used to own, we'd go there and visit time to time, right? His teddy, we were just throwing around. I don't know what we were doing, just like tossing in a bunch of kids, right? Uh, there's this TV stand. Yeah, it is hard to explain. But basically, it's hollow at the top. So... Hmm. And there's like a, think of this way. So table and then the TV goes kind of here, right? And then there's a wall and then there's a ceiling for that wall. And then up here is actually hollow. I think that's the best analogy to go with. So we just threw it around. I don't know how. He chucked it over the onto the roof of his, this. But the thing is, the whole structure is hollow. So... It just suck into the bottom of that. Yeah. And we couldn't get it back because we were too short at that time. Even if we are as big as we are now, we probably can't get it. Yeah, I don't think I would be bothered to, to get it. But he's been stuck there for years. Uh, stuck there, waiting. Hey, we don't even know what's his... going on with the resort anymore. And I think it's being. Like new ownership being renovated, be nice to visit. Just to, I just don't know. Does it have like a new name or anything? It might have, probably. Hmm. Greenview is uh, probably uh Nikon, Sawan yeah. or something. Yeah, I remember that was a nice resort. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do we talk about like the number one hotel we've been to? Number one, oh, I don't think we have. No? Well, Queen I think the number Elizabeth one... Hotel. No. It... Yes? Number one is the courtyard. That's I mean, no, one, that's not what I meant. I meant, like, this is the hotel we've always been to. Like, the right. most we've been to. If we want to uh, talk about the nicest, then yeah, the courtyard is... <laughs> but this hotel, Elizabeth Hotel, I don't know why we thought it was so nice. It was probably... It's, they said no, four it was like a four not. star. It it's was a, a four star. star. Oh, it's a three star? Three yeah. star hotel, but we thought it was so fancy because every time we would use it to go like uh to Sion. Because you could get, you or could get sausages for breakfast. I mean or Dream World. A- yeah. So breakfast would be basic buffet. So sausages, square Eight. square pink ham. I mean, to be fair, we don't have that now. Like 
that kind of breakfast. So that's why. Yeah. It's would be nice. Yeah. I mean, we still think it's nice, and I guess fancy. Better. I don't think it's that nice. I think it's just fine. The hotel is fine. I like the hotel though. The room is fine. The pool is actually not is not good. It's not that good, no. <laughs> we swam in it anyway. It's a pool. Nice <laughs> it's a I pool. It, there's a pool on the rooftop in the water with greed when we last went there. And we still swam in it. <laughs> I, I think we're like one of the few families who ever actually swam in that pool. Yeah. It was like hot up there, but then the water was cold. And yeah, like you said, freaking green. Yeah, it's on the uh, rooftop. It's like nice. <laughs> highly recommend. Would go there again. Mm. Don't know where it is. I don't know. I really couldn't care less if I went there again or not. Mm. But a courtyard, the courtyard, hold it up. <laughs> How long did we was... stay there? I Three? don't know, but that was nice. Yeah, it was a giant ass pool. They have a freaking bar in the pool. There's freaking slides that go into the pool. Okay. <laughs> there's water slides. And then there's a freaking well, a little kid club or whatever. Game you know, room. Clubhouse. Game yeah, there's a game room. room. There's like Crash Bandicoot. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure people know what it is, but we didn't know what it is. We just thought it was a game where you move the fox around. I remember Dad got mad at me for playing Crash Bandicoot. So. Uh-huh. I, kind of, I, kind of, I kind of snuck in. To play that, oh, but those were nice. Like they were in this kind of like, I don't know what. You- and had like computers there as well, internet thing. Yeah, there's a cinema with bean bags you can sit on. I don't there's think we ball- watched any movies though. No, we just sat on the bean bags. Yeah, <laughs> and there was a ball house as well. It's just tons of stuff. Foosball. Uh, can I that you're saying these things? I don't think it's as big as we thought it is. It's, there, it was pretty big. There's you're a talking snooker about like, table. Yeah, wow. Well, uh, snooker table. Um, freaking little. There's even these little freaking sword toys that we took and played with, like sword shields. Freaking, it's just it's just a lot of fun for kids. It's just like a kids' clubhouse, basically. You're saying that out loud as if it's, like, super cool that they bought, like, toys from Tesco Lotus. And put yeah, it was. Right. For us, it was. It was freaking dope. We say, come on. As uh, from a, as a Christian family. But Todd, from all I recall, I don't think Dad have, allowed us to we, play with swords. Yeah, we, exactly. We never got the chance to buy swords. And, but, like, in this clubhouse, there were swords. So we could play with the sword. <laughs> Yeah. I think we so only did that because, like, I don't think Dad was really there. I think he was kind of doing, like, business meetings or something. Yeah. But, yeah, it was also, like, right on the beach as well. So you can, like, if you don't want to swim in the pool, then you can just walk over and swim in the beach. It's right there. Yeah. It was a nice-ass hotel. It's almost yep. too nice. It's not too nice. Yeah, it is. I think it's a five star, right? Probably. I mean, yeah, I would go back to the bar and swim pool. Yeah, I remember I had this but nice banana drinks. milkshake. Get actual drinks this time. Hmm. I want to try alcohol. I want to try real drinks, like yummy alcoholic drinks. I don't know. What you mean, like cocktails? I don't know, like. Yummy. I don't know why do people drink alcohol in the first place. It must be to must get be drunk. Some, some other aspect of it that's good. Uh, drunk. That's pretty much it. You Maybe ask me, like it's drunk. I don't know the the tang or something. The tang. Yeah, the tang you get when you drink it, like the feel. What yeah, you feel on. drunk. Okay, fine. <laughs> that's it. But then yeah, there's good tasting ones too. You'll try it eventually, but just know that it's not worth it for a 300 baht drink, so. 
Especially like what the nice ones, huh? Uh, yeah, I want to. I I would pay that if I had the money. <laughs> I would. Pay, I would actually, yeah, that that goes for everything. I would. If I had the money, I would just get it if I wanted it. Mm-hmm. Just do it. Should we stop? <laughs> it has been one hour and thirty minutes. Yeah, it ended there. Okay. okay. We're up, but what we need to go over like the morals of the story. Okay. Um do be not a be a TikToker. Do not be a, <laughs> a TikToker. <YouTuber. laughs> Go to YouTube. No, no freak YouTube TikTok. wins. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, um, take heed of warning signs from the weather. Yep. And watch Jujutsu Kaisen. Debatable. And stay tuned. <laughs> it's not debatable. Stay tuned for Record of Ragnarok. I have high hopes. Hopefully they pull it off. Honestly, I don't think they will. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Debatable. But we'll see. <laughs> That's debatable. Uh, well. Um, stay in nice hotels. Yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. Um, don't do plastic surgery on your teddy bears or plushies. Freaking serial killer vibes. <laughs> okay, yeah, guys, that's the end of this uh, broadcast episode. Uh, links of ours will be in the description. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye. Frick you. <laughs>